Mike, you get to finish us up. Your fire pick for the yep. year. My fire pick. We've talked about him a little bit. He's already got himself one of them fancy trademark fantasy footballers. Nicknames David Montgomery, a.k.a. Who? David Mopportunity. Yes. Mopportunity knocking? It absolutely is. I want to just highlight a couple things about David I can't you can't even every... say it, can you? Well, just not every time. Exactly. Sure uh, he'll be mopping up the floor with <laughs> defenses. Look, he's in the perfect situation. Do do people realize last year Jordan Howard had the sixth most attempts at the running back position, 250. I mean, people may not realize how high of a number he had because they got kind of burned by him for fantasy. And, and, and Matt Nagy is trying his best to create the Kansas City Chiefs, where he grew, I mean, he was cutting his teeth there. He learned the Andy Reid system. And David Montgomery has received some comps to Kareem Hunt. Uh, you can look at uh, Graham Barfield. He has a methodology called Yards Created, where he looks at these at these rookies coming in. He said David Montgomery had the most, temp, most missed tackles uh, per carry. It, it, like, he's a... He's a decent player. He can do everything that Matt Nagy wants him to do. And, and I was hearkening back to when Kareem Hunt had his breakout year and there was that lull and everyone freaked out. What is going on with Kareem Hunt? Once Matt Nagy took over the play calling, that's when Kareem Hunt saw, saw more volume than he had seen that entire season. Matt Nagy's not afraid to use one guy. He wanted Jordan Howard to be that one guy and Tariq Cohen to be an auxiliary pass catcher here and there. But he wants a running back on the field who the defense has no idea what we're going to do, and Montgomery can work perfectly inside the passing game. I think the Bears are going to be a fantastic team. They're going to be in very positive game scripts more often than not. And David Mopportunity, I am very excited for for what he can do for fantasy purposes. The Bears showed their hand. You know, they, they literally turned the cards around and showed their hand when they drafted Montgomery yeah. because... Traded up for him. Be, and because of how much they gave up to get him, it's not just, I mean, he's a third-round pick. You go, well, so what? They had no picks to work with. They had so few picks because of the Mitchell Trubisky trade and other other trades. Or the, 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 Mac, uh, get, the Khalil yes, Mack. Yes, the Khalil Mack trade. They just had no draft capital, and the little draft capital they had, they said, I'm using all of it to move up and make sure we get our guy. How does how does Mike Davis, the signing in the offseason, and then Tariq Cohen's usage, because when he runs the football, he's a 4.4 a carry guy. He's only probably, you can only probably pencil him in for something like 100 and. 100, 10, 120 carries on the season. Well, 120 would be the most he's ever gotten. Well, yeah, but he's, he's, a, he's a young player who's now, you know, Sure, but you he, give a guy more carries because he earns them. He had a chance last year. I mean, year. Darren Sproles, you've seen that. He's had seasons where he doesn't get the ball a ton on the ground. You've had seasons where he gets it a lot. Sure. Uh, for Tariq Cohen, I still see him as, as a sub-100 rushing attempt guy. And for Mike Davis, it's the Bears entered into the draft. that They don't know what they're going to actually be able to do, to do. I compare it very much to the Raiders went out. They added Isaiah Crowell. Mm -hmm. They still took a first-round running back. I'm, now, Montgomery was not a first-rounder, of course, but these teams scoop up veteran players for low amounts of money because they're not 100% sure they're going to be able to get the player they want in the draft. So it's to me, even though it was very quick, it seems more like a backup plan now at this point to me. Oh, hey! <laughs> I was just doing some heavy research. It's the research that makes the fantasy footballers great. Click that subscribe button and find out more.